Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video I will be showing you guys how you can make millions per day in GTA 5 Online. So as you guys may or may not know it but yesterday the weekly update was actually released and because of that it's actually double money in RP on the Acid Lab production as well as the speed. And also with that we also have 40% off on the Acid Lab. Or more and specifically the Brigade 6x6. Now in order to get started with this you will need to purchase the Brigade 6x6. You can do that by first making your way into any GTA Online session. After that what you want to do is go over to your phone, go over to internet, then go over to travel and transport. From here just go over to war stock cash and carry and scroll down until you find the Brigade 6x6. So once we go there, you can see here it is currently $450,000 if you purchase it this week. And the original price was at $750,000. Once you have it purchased, you are ready to go. So before we continue with today's video, the first thing I would like to do is go ahead and get on with their daily shoutouts. Which is actually going to go to all of these people. So everyone you do see below the screen here have been subscribed since the last video was published. So thank you for that. And if you guys like to be featured in the next shout out. All you gotta do is like this video. Subscribe to the channel. And also hit comment down below. Honestly it doesn't matter what you comment. But as long as you do. It not only helps with the video's ratings. But you will get in the next shout out. Okay so once you have purchased your Brigade 6x6. Or more specifically the Astrolab. You are ready to go. So what we're going to go ahead and do is call it in by opening up the interaction menu, go over to services, go over to Astolab, and then you can request it. Now I already did request it, so it is actually going to be near me, but that is how you're going to do it. And then you want to make your way over to it. Now that we are inside of our Acid Lab, I will quickly explain how this works. So basically inside the Acid Lab, you can actually, there's still supplies. Or you can purchase it from you over here for I believe it is a price of $60,000. You can also steal the supplies for free but you're going to be doing a small mission and could be difficult. Honestly it's not that difficult. Most people just actually spend the money because the production is going to go by way quicker. And you'll actually make more profit in the long run. But those two are an option. Also whenever you actually go and get supplies you want to make sure to go over here in which you can actually boost your acid lab production. This will be very important and you can only do it once per day. So what we're going to go ahead and do is actually source supplies. I like to show you how the mission works. It's going to be a different range of missions so everything is going to be different. But I'll give you one example and then I'll go and purchase it for $60,000. So we're going to go ahead and go over here to source supplies and there we go. And now from here it's going to spawn us outside the acid lab and give us a mission to do. Alright, I'm probably going to say this completely wrong, but for this mission what we have to first do is go over to the Dilutimole Depot. I don't know if I said that right, but hopefully I did. So let's go and make our way there. Actually, thankfully it's not really that far away, so we'll go ahead and make our way there. Alright, so we just made it over here to the depot and we have to search it for the delivery schedule. So there's a couple guards that we do got to take out. I guess we could take them out quietly, but I'm just going to hide behind this and start shooting them. So let's get that guard. We'll get this guard. I almost had that guard, but uh, apparently he was able to hide before I could do it. Thank you. And then there's one more over here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Okay, so now let's go and try to find the delivery schedule. Most of the time is going to be over here near this area. So let's go and see it. I think this is it. Yep, there we go. So now we're going to go and steal it. So now that we stole the delivery schedule, it will now give us an actual GPS of where all of the delivery vans are. It looks like there is three in total currently. So we just have to go to each one and see which one is carrying our supplies. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to use a weapon. I'm just going to steal it and run. Because there is place nearby. Oh, well. Okay, well, apparently instead of shooting me, they just went to the vehicle so we're good to go here and now we're just going to deliver it to our Astolab. Which I'm actually not sure where it is currently. We do have to lose the cops. Best way to lose the cops is call Lester and for a fee you can actually remove the warning level. Oh wait it's unavailable. What? The okay well apparently it's unavailable. 
Uh, most of the time it works. I actually have no clue why they won't let you for this, but I guess we're just gonna have to go and lose them. Pretty quickly lose the cops, but it is at three stars, so it will take a minute to do it. And they're most likely having helicopters out. Okay, there we go. So now that we lost our wanted level, we now have to deliver it back to the freak shop, which thankfully is not too far away. And there we go. We just got it delivered. So now we're going to go ahead, call in our Astrolab, which should spawn like right in front of us. So let's go and see if it does that. And now we can see how many supplies we have. We can go ahead and see here on the bottom right hand corner, completing the mission only gave us one bar. Now, if you go over here to this area, we're going to go ahead and boost our acid production. I did want to do it because of the fact that I just wanted to get like the full amount of it. So I just wanted to wait. So I got supplies before I did this. So it does take a second for your character to do like an animation of doing whatever it is doing. And then after that, we should be good. So now we currently have 2.9k in value. Of course, that is literally nothing. So we're going to go over here and see what we can actually purchase supplies for. So it looks like now this time it's only 48k. Now for this video, I usually just spend the money because of the fact that it goes by quicker. And you can do that route. But for this video specifically, I'm going to just be stealing all the supplies so I can see what the max profit is. So I'm going to go and steal them. Hopefully no more than three missions I have to do. I'll let you guys know how long these missions take like in total and how many I had to do to actually fill up the entire bar. So it looks like this time we're going to the exact same location that we were before. And it's most likely going to be the exact same mission. There we go, second mission complete. It's probably going to most likely be the same thing as last time where we only got two bars for this. So it probably is going to take a while, it seems like, for this to happen. Yep, only two bars. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go and buy supplies just because I am not going to be doing this the whole time. So we're going to go and purchase supplies for $48,000. Now we're just going to wait for it to arrive and get here. So basically when it does arrive, what I'm going to be doing is an AFK method... That way, while in the background, and it's actually slowly going from supplies to product, you can go and do whatever you want to and not have to actually wait for it to happen. So I'll show you guys the AFK method as soon as we get our supplies in. Alright, so it's been around 10 to 15 minutes. And you can see here that my supply bar is almost full. It's at 4 bars completely going into the 5th one. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, because I'm pretty sure it was full... But now our value is set at $65,340. So we're already off the bat. We're doing pretty good. And the production is actually pretty quick. I am going to do another run. Because I do want my supply bar to be completely full. Whenever I actually go AFK. And see how long it takes to actually. You know completely go from supplies to product. And max out the product. So I will do one more again. I'm going to be super duper mad if it's the same mission. Why? Why? What reason do you need to have the same mission over and over? The mission's easy, except for the part where you have to lose the warning level. And for some reason, whenever I get the warning level, there's about 50 cops in one street. It is so dumb how many cops there are. And then they want you to, like, lose your warning level and they put you on three stars. I absolutely hate the mission, but I gotta do what I gotta do. Let's go ahead and complete this. Okay, so we just took out the guards and actually got our delivery schedule. Next thing we gotta do is search for the supplies or search the uh, couple of vans for it. Looks like we got three. Thankfully, them two is actually pretty close together, so it shouldn't be too bad. But now, after we do that, it's gonna be the hardest part of actually not only losing cops, but driving the six miles just go to the freak shop. Okay, so we just found the van that contains it. Of course, it's going to be the very last one. And of course, it's going to be near officers. So that is amazing. And just like that, we are done. So let's go ahead and call in our acid lab. There we go. How is it nearby? Tell me, how is this acid lab nearby? The thing is literally over here. That is not nearby. Back inside our nightclub, our supply bar is basically full. It looks like our entire supply run we just did basically meant nothing. Because we're at the exact same spot as usual. Now that is a good thing because it does show that our supply run or the supply speed is really fast. And our value is currently at $103,950. So now it is time for the AFK method. Or if you guys want to go and do something else. 
It's currently double money and RP on Arena War as well as there was another adversary mode that was double money and RP for this week. Which is also something that you can do. But if you want to do the AFK strategy like I'll be doing, the only businesses that you'll need or basically the option is if you own a arcade, you can use this. If you own a bunker, you can use this. And if you own a nightclub, you can use this method. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is make my way over to the nightclub as it's the closest place to me. We arrived at our nightclub and what we're going to be doing for this is viewing the security cameras. Viewing the security camera is not going to be kicking you for being idle as well as your supply bar is actually going to be steadily progressing into supplies from the actual stock. So now we're just going to go ahead and leave it here. I don't know how long exactly it takes, especially with the fact that we have double speed and we also have an acid lab production boost for the day. So I'm just going to leave it here. I'll set a timer for 30 minutes. I think 30 minutes will be good enough for this because of how fast it's currently going. So let me go ahead and set that timer. And there we go. I now have it set to 30 minutes. So I'll just be back or basically in one second right now. So it's been about, I'd say half an hour now. And our value is currently at $314,820. And our product is starting to get there to full it. It is now hitting the second to the last bar and our supplies is at two bars. So now let's go ahead. I might go ahead and do another run. I think we'll be good, but I am going to do another run just in case. And once I do the run, then we'll let it sit there. All right. Again, we go to the same exact spot. For some reason, there's always different missions, but I've just been very unlucky and I'm getting the exact same one every single time. Okay, there we go. We got our resupply done. That's probably going to be the last one that I do for this video. So now we're going to go ahead and request it again and see where it's at. So now it has been two hours and we're at $350,460. So we're going to go ahead and start selling it over here. And then let's sell it for $350K. I'm sure it's going to be like the delivery bike. Hopefully... It's not too far away from each other because that would really suck. But let's go and see where we go. It looks like we got 10 deliveries we got to make for this. So definitely not bad for the fact that we have over 350k in goods. Are you wanting more money in GTA 5 Online but don't want to spend the ridiculous price of shark cards? I mean just look at these prices. You want a new car? That's $50. You want the Oppressor MK2? That's $100. And if you want some of the nicest vehicles in the game, you're looking at between $50 to $100 in just shark cards. That's more than just buying the game itself. Thankfully, this is where OP Mods comes in. They feature cheap and reliable services for your GTA 5 Online needs. They provide modded accounts and boost the game. So instead of spending a $100 shark card, you can spend $15 and get $150 million there. They currently have this available to all the old gen and next gen consoles, including PC. Thankfully to their new update that they just added on the website, looking for what you need is much easier and more simplified. Right now there is a summer sale available with up to 60% off on purchases. So what are you waiting for? Go buy it now and also don't forget to use code LEGIT. For 5% off on all your purchases. Thank you. And now let's get on with the video. Alright, so we're about to approach the last delivery. I almost screwed that up. Let's go ahead and see here. Hopefully that is it. And no one tries chasing us. But we'll see here in a second. <laughs> we'll see here in a second. There we go. And now we just leave the area. It says leave the area on your delivery bike to receive an additional RP bonus. It looks like you don't even get a choice on it though. And just like that, we made $350,460, as well as we got a pretty significant boost of RP off of this. So there you guys go. That is your money method and RP method for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. If you do have any questions about this video, let me know down in the comment section and I or someone else will try their best to answer it. So with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there, and goodbye.